Hello, this is the chapter uh, 15. Uh, the title of the chapter is Plant Growth and Development. This is for class 11. I am taking this chapter from NCRT. Okay, you can uh, check it out in NCRT book. Most of the things I uh, took from this book. So let's start here. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Development. Uh, the topic of the chapter is plant growth and development. The growth and development is two phases of the growth. That means the development is consists of two processes. One is growth and other is differentiation. Growth, you know that that is increase in size. That means uh, a small plant uh, with time it uh, becomes larger and elongate in size that is the growth and differentiation means it uh, develops uh, different uh, leaves branches, which is absent in a baby plant or uh, uh, just uh, germinating uh, plant okay so here development is the sum of the uh, two processes that is growth and differentiation the development of plant starts from zygote zygote is a fertilized uh, egg it is a single cell structure you know that every life starts from single cell that is zygote and it follows a precise and highly ordered succession of events so that growth can occur during this process body organization are formed body organization means zygote is a single cell st structure it divides to form multi cell and this multi cells form tissue then this tissue form different organ systems that uh, is in animal and also in plants and these are uh, the roots leaves branches flowers fruits seeds and uh, after this process they all eventually die because you know all the living organisms are mortal the first step of plant growth is seed germination during the favorable time seed germinates and develops into a plant okay it occurs in the favorable environmental condition so it's all about the development next move to the another slide here the growth growth is the fundamental and conspicuous characteristics of all living organisms i told you uh, growth is the fundamental and important physiological process in uh, all living organisms including plants here we are discussing about the plants and conspicuous conspicuous means it's a remarkable or important characteristics of all living organisms and it is irreversible uh, you cannot uh, change a big plant into its uh, baby form okay so it is an irreversible permanent increase in size of an organ or its parts or even of an individual cell okay? growth is accompanied by metabolic process you know uh, metabolic process come consists of catabolism and anabolism catabolism is the destructive process that means here bigger molecule or macro molecules like carbohydrate proteins are uh, destroyed into simpler form so that uh, the plant can utilize it for their growth and anabolism is the assemble of smaller molecules to uh, draw the energy or store them okay i'm not uh, going the detail of this thing uh, this ability of plant is due to presence of meristems at certain locations in their body meristems are a type of tissue which are always uh, responsible for the growth of the plant they divide continuously and uh, add the growth or the elongation or increase of the body size and this is all leads to growth okay uh, here thank you this is all about the growth in my next slide i shall discuss about the phases of growth in plants Thank you for watching. Bye.